Ooh, I found an elevator. What the hell kind of shitty looking elevator is this? Looks like it was designed by hippies. This place still has power. It must be running off its own generator. This must be the command center for the entire complex. Saren's troops must have sealed the doors from here after he went inside. Bastards. We will have to figure out how to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that bunker. Easy. We, uh, blow shit up until it lets us go where we want to go. That's my plan anyway. Holy shit, there's a lot of guys over here. I like time apples. Bastards. Making me take cover and shit and waste my time. I won't stand for it. Security panel, eh? Come, Saren already has a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the Shut continent. up. Unless he's already found it. Then we're just walking into a trap. That is a chance we will have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Too late. Unable to invading fleets. Hey, it's no that thing escape. from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Sounds like some kind of message, but I don't recognize the language. It is probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we cannot understand it. It's a warning. The message is all broken up. So but I recognize will be shot. some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Of course. Between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Oh, yeah. Not safe. Does me a lot of good, too. Seek refuge. Side the archives. Side the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Well, I could if you'd shut up. Fault Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Obi Wan Kenobi. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. It's too damaged. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped. We'll see about that negative Nancy. Good idea. The firepower will come in handy. We now we can take this thing. What the shit I is all this? I spent my life studying the Protheans, but I never dreamed I would discover anything like ah this. Ah! Camera went this crazy. bunker might have been the last refuge of their entire species. Just imagine what mysteries it might hold. Imagine mm. what secrets it might reveal. Ah. Hey, try to remember why we're here. Saren, the conduit, the fate of the entire known galaxy. Yeah. I am sorry. I was swept up in the moment. I just hope we have the opportunity to study this place in detail after this is done. I wouldn't count on it. I thought Saren would have set some kind of trap or ambush for us. He must have been in too much of a hurry. Or we just have yet to run into it. Way to stay positive. What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of containers? They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably tried to keep themselves alive through cry- Why? Hey, what the fuck? Pretty force field. We're gonna go right through it. There we go. Bonsai! What is happening? Oh! It's a trap! <laughs> Saren must have set an ambush. <laughs> I do not think Saren is behind this. It's just a thing to let you know that, hey, you gotta go talk to this uh, talkie machine thing. It tells you all kinds of interesting infos. I have studied the Protheans for decades, but I have never felt this sense of foreboding. What will we find down there? It's gonna I be Capone's vault all over again. Not anymore. Alright. Ooh. It's Virgil. Where's the million dollar man? You are not Prothean. But you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. Yeah, destroy it. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently. Perhaps there is still hope. Perhaps. 
This is incredible. An actual Prothean VI, and I can understand it. I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. Oh, that was nice of you. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. What are you? Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system, with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, chief overseer of the Ilos Research Facility. I don't have time for your jibber-jabber. Saren could be at the conduit right now. We have to go. You seek to end a cycle that has continued for millions of years. To stop it, you must first understand it, or you will make the same mistakes we did. All right. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. <gasps> the station is actually an enormous mass relay. Son of a bitch. One that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through. Well, and shit. All you know will be destroyed. That's not good. Tell me more about the Citadel. How come relay? nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass? Because you are all stupid. The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. Keepers! The Keepers no maintain fucks. the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the Relay is activated, and the Reapers invade. And then you're all fucked. Tell me about this other stuff. How do the Reapers survive out in dark space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. Bastards. The perfect trap. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. Don't. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel and through it the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our Empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. All of you? Some of you must have managed to survive. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. It's like Battlestar Galactic all over again. The Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. What'd they leave for? I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans 
was complete. <laughs> Genocide. Why do they do this? What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? Shits and giggles. The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. You actually find out the answer to why they do this in the second game. How can I stop these some bitches? You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit is not a weapon. It is a backdoor onto the Citadel. They didn't find you? How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. Nice. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. And how'd that turn out for you? But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. You're cowards! You should have fought. And we died. Were hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One First by janitors. One, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? Uh, it was necessary? Did you not listen to the explanation? You couldn't let everyone die. Better to sacrifice some so others could live. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this Shut contingency. Up. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. Yeah, you dumb broads. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. The Keepers? Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Ah! Pwned. Unless Saren succeeds. Saren can use the conduit to bypass all the Citadel's external defenses. Correct. Well, shit, and fuck. once inside, he can transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Oh, son of a bitch. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. Not this time. I'll take Sovereign down. Somehow. There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Sweet! Lobster Wait, ship's going where's down. where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit. 
Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Hmm. Tell me a little bit more about Sovereign. If the Reapers are trapped in dark space, how did Sovereign get here? Good question. It is logical to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind Damn. after each extinction. A sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable return. Like those in dark space, Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Periodically, it would wake to analyze the situation. Keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel and usher in the next Reaper invasion. Bastards. But this time the signal failed. The Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped in the void. Uh -huh. Alone, it was forced to try and discover what had gone wrong. They could just attack. Sovereign's the largest ship in the galaxy. Why all this secrecy? Why not just attack the Citadel? Sovereign is not invincible. Revealing its true nature would have united the forces of every organic species against it. Even the Reaper couldn't survive such odds. But the Reapers are patient. They will not rush into the unknown. Sovereign could have been planning this for centuries, moving deliberately, gathering allies. Slowly, it has assembled the pieces of the puzzle, working through agents to keep itself hidden. Saren is the most visible pawn of the Reapers, but I doubt he was the first. Now Sovereign has grown bold. Whether from confidence or desperation, I cannot say. But it is determined to reopen the portal to dark space. Eh, uh, beacons. What about the beacon on Eden Prime? And the one on Vermeer? What were they for? At our apex, the beacons spanned the breadth of our empire. We used them as a single galaxy-wide network to transmit data and communications rapidly from world to world. Virtually all the beacons were destroyed during the invasion. But once the Reapers were gone, the survivors here on Ilos decided to risk sending out a message. We knew it was unlikely there were other survivors. But if there were, we wanted them to know about Ilos. We wanted to give them hope. So a message was sent across the network. Quite the risk. You could have exposed yourself to the Reapers. In truth, we didn't expect any of the beacons would still function, but we had to try. If there were survivors, we had to reach them. Good thing you reached Mench, The message was meant for our own people. It was coded so only organic beings could interpret it. We still didn't understand the power of Reaper indoctrination. We never realized it could lead an agent of the machines, like Saren, to this world. But it has also led you here. So perhaps we did not fail after all. Yeah, it remains to be seen. Uh, I think I've already asked you about the Keepers. So when the Reapers created the Citadel, they created Apparently the Keepers not. as well? A more likely scenario is that the Keepers were one of the early harvested civilizations. Perhaps the very first. Nice. Perhaps they responded well to indoctrination, or the Reapers simply bred them to be obedient. In any case, they were left behind to operate and maintain well, the Citadel. Well, in case we lose. Dibs on but being the one of the new keepers. No it's a job for life right there. Or its ilk. They evolved so that they only respond to the signals emitted by the Citadel itself. When the Protheans altered the Citadel signals, they broke Sovereign's hold over the keepers. Now, they are completely harmless. That explains the geth! Sovereign must have realized that organic races were difficult to control. A likely hypothesis. The Keepers evolved in an unanticipated direction. Non-organic servants like the Geth would be more predictable. Prothean scientists. What happened to the survivors from the Conduit Project? They used the Conduit to gain access to the Citadel. But the Conduit is only a prototype. The portal only links in one direction, so they were trapped on the station. Oops. I do not know what became of them then. It is unlikely they found any food or water on the station. I fear they suffered a slow, grim death. Nice. I only know they succeeded in their mission to seal the relay. Your presence here proves their sacrifice was not in vain. Well, that was a whole lot of talking, but... 
pretty interesting stuff. Let's go. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil will be here? Even now, the projection is. I went through all this the dialogue our trees, only bitch. To speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity of a lifetime. Are you insane? We're in a race to save the galaxy, and you want to play Q and A with a hologram? <laughs> you are right. I am sorry. My personal feelings clouded my judgment. Again. We, we should go. I already the asked it everything. Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. All right. Let's do this shit. All their culture, all their advanced technology, and the Protheans were taken in by the Reapers just as we were. They failed. We can get there in time. Their plan only fails if we do, and I've come too far to watch Saren win. Yeah. Looks like everything's gonna end at the Citadel. How nice. Jesus Christ, you got enough geth bitches here? Alright already, I get it. The geth are trying to stop me from getting there. It's not gonna happen. Oh shit, there it is. There, the conduit. It's incredible. Sure is. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay. And these geth aren't gonna make it easy on us. Fuck them! Oh, fuck. That is not good. It's like Saren already went through. Hey, Council! Fuck you, idiots! Should've listened. But no! Why does man chisel know about anything? A whole lot, bitches. Now you die! Activate the defenses! Seal the station! The arms aren't moving! Systems not responding! Uh -huh. Abandon the Citadel! Evacuate the Council! Citadel Control! Citadel Control! Do you Fuck copy? the Council! <laughs> oh, Saren's there. Now you got 40 seconds to make it to that thing before it closes. And to not get blown up by the myriad of enemies that are all lined up along the way. This is gonna be fun. Fuck you! Fuck you! Shields are almost out. And ah! Fuck you! I think you can actually die here, but uh. Ah, my ship is damaged! Go! Go, 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 go! Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm not gonna make it! Ah, we made it! Found. Critical failures detected across all monitored yeah. systems. I like what they've done with the place. Please begin emergency. You guys might want to get out of the way. <laughs> Bitches. <laughs> like a glove. Like driving that fucking thing anyway. 